Now, the next thing that you need to work on is getting paid. And remember that for us, we use the, we choose pounds, which is uh, in United Kingdom. And then do make sure that you also put your name there as it appears inside of your gray.co account under the account holder's name. And then your type, your type of account, make sure it is on checking. Do not uh, choose set, uh, savings for this. Simply click on checking. And like I said before, you need to include your legal name right there uh, in order to continue with the process. And then your, the type of account, you should leave it on checking. And then when it comes to um, adding your United Kingdom bank account here, uh, you don't include a lot of other details. All that they require from you is just your IBAN number and your BIC code. This BIC code is just the same as SWIFT code. So when you get to uh, where they ask you for IBAN number, do well to make sure that you log into your, your grade.co account to get first those details and then you add them right there. So I'm going to go ahead and add the account holder's name and then I will also log into my grid.co account to be able to locate my IBAN number and add it right there and then also add the SWIFT code which is in other words known as the BIC code. All right, so right now we're going to type in our IBAN code. All you need to do is just to copy it and paste it right there. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be typing it right here. But at, of course, like I said, it's better to, uh, you know, copy it and paste so that you don't make an, any kind of mistakes. For emphasis sake, I will recommend that you log back into your grade.co account. Then you click on account and report. And once you click on there, you will now see that the details of your account will be displayed, which is your parent's account. So you look through those details and then see where it is written IBAN number. I think it's about um, 16 to 17 characters. That is what you're going to copy and then come back here and paste in as the IBAN number. I hope that's clear. And now when you get to your BI, BIC code, which I said is the same as SWIFT code, you will just copy that also from your grade.co account. In your grade.co account, you're going to be seeing that as a SWIFT code. So just copy the SWIFT code. And then while copying the SWIFT code, they will see that at the end of the code, we have something like triple X, XXX at the end of the code. Please, you don't need to include the XXX because it does not really matter when you're adding it right here. So don't include the XXX. Just copy the first one and then once you're done doing that, you just click on add and then you click on save. And that is how you are able to add your account um, details onto the Amazon platform and congratulations for that.